Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today I'm testing out this new subscription box from Odea. It's called Artful and it looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to open this. I've been really excited to start. And yeah, I've just been waiting to film this with you guys. So let's get into it. And I guess they've started out rolling out a subscription service for art boxes. So I'm really excited. They sent me this card. Okay, so I guess I can't post this video until after the 17th of March. Well, I want to really see what's inside this, so let's go film it now and then I will be in the future showing you it. That didn't make any sense to you guys, but okay, let's get into the artful pack. Thank you for OD for sending me this, I'm really excited. So it comes like this, it just has like a little thing that you open and it has the whole pattern all the way around, which is really cute. And it's by Mike Lowry, super nice design, which I think that is like a great thing anyway. Okay, nice. See, this is the thing with this box. I'm like, I don't want to throw it out ever because it's so nice. Ooh, cute. So the inside is like this, which is very nice. And it comes in this tissue paper. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a present. Okay, let's open this up. So it comes with this little bag, which is really cute. And then a nice sketchbook, I see, but I'll look in here first. Ooh, whoa, loads of pens are coming out. Whoa, wow. So they have some Posca pens. I actually have a lot of these, but um, it's always nice to get more of these. I don't have the apricot, I think, and this pink is looking pretty nice. I don't think I have that. So there you go, you get four big Posca pens, which is pretty amazing. And then a Tombow. Yeah, I love Tombow. So there's these brush pens and the fine nib pen. Um, it comes in grey and black. They're water-based, so they can be used with watercolours. And this one I know, I've actually bought this from a Japanese store before, online store, and they are really nice pens. I used to do all my artwork with them. This one looks great. It's just like a thin nibbed ink pen and um, let's see a nice H3 pencil and then a pen that I've never seen before mono twin which is kind of similar to the other ones a fine liner and a oh, not really a thick tipped um, liner which looks quite nice to use I don't think this one is water based so I yeah oil based marker Ooh, okay and then a mono Tombow plastic eraser which these are really nice quality I like these erasers so there we go and a really nice sketchbook that just says sketch on the front which I like the look of the paper seems quite nice yeah so let's try all out these things together shall we and underneath you also get a little artful issue one magazine which is really cool and they have a lot of inspiration in here of what to do they did a big interview with the the guy who designed the box so that's really nice and it tells you all about the different items in there oh look i really like this artist as well and they've interviewed her in here that's awesome i'm really excited to actually look through this so it's not like a just an extra thing they chuck in there it looks like there's actually been a lot of hard work put into this magazine so that's really nice i think overall this art box is probably really cool so i'll test out all these things now okay so i filmed that a couple of weeks ago and then i had to move because of this certain situation that i will not name mm. and today i'm going to film what I was doing with the items that I received in this box. Also, I want it to be known that I'm never going to say something is nice again because I think I said it about a thousand times in the last five minutes. I decided I wanted to draw famous paintings and simplify them down with these beautiful pens that I've been given because I felt it would be a really fun little challenge and just something fun and easy to do and something that maybe you guys could play along with whilst I'm drawing this if you can guess what painting it is and also maybe something you guys can do at home because it's always fun to copy old classics and simplify them or just do them in your style um, it's kind of like a draw this in your style I guess yeah I am drawing Christina's world um, if you guys hadn't guessed that, I'm sorry, that's a spoiler. 
and I'm just super simplifying it down to the four Poskas that I have and then using the Tombow and the other pens to sort of outline things. I really enjoyed the process of this because this was the first one that I did. I wasn't really sure how to get every colour that I wanted. I didn't know if I was just going to use the Poskas and then outline. But then I decided to use that grey Tombow to shadow up the buildings in the background. And I think it has a really nice effect overall and I really like the way that this came out. I used the fine liner to line Christina who's looking up at these houses and I really find this painting, the original painting, kind of quite mysterious and um, cold if that makes sense. Like there's a real a feeling and emotion behind it. That's why I've always been drawn to this painting. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It is quite a famous one so probably you have and yeah that's the overall one done i as you can tell it didn't take me very long so it's super simplified but i think it has a real it has a real striking effect when just using this really limited color palette of these posca pens that artful sent me the next one i decided to be a little bit more adventurous and i tried a painting that i will ask if you can guess it in a few more moments and as you can see it's a figure standing up in the sky, in the sky, on a hill and the sky is behind her and she's wearing old kind of Victorian style dress and she's holding up an umbrella and in the painting her face is sort of like smudged out and it was, I felt like it could be a real difficult thing to do using Poskas and fine liners to try and emulate that so when I was doing it I just felt like oh I'll just use my fingers to kind of smudge the paint and I think that really helped and I really got into it and it really worked with what I was doing and yeah I just went in and I think I got a bit more experimental with this one I was just smudging everything and using pens and trying to just have fun with it rather than the other one I was trying to be a bit more closer to the original thing and when this one I was just like I don't know I think this one turned out to be my favorite one that I did overall it has a kind of like Ghibli-esque style to it I would say and I really enjoyed that I think it's just like the blue of the sky and then the the line quality is quite nice so I really enjoyed this one this one is a Monet piece it is the woman with the parasol and so they in that painting there's a lot of like texture quality and movement and vibrancy that I wanted to kind of do in this one so I took the Tombow and I tried to emulate the brush strokes within the piece and I really liked the way that this one turned out. Following on from that thought process I decided to try and do something a little bit wacky again and I wanted to smudge these paints with my fingers and just layer down lots of colour and blend them together if possible with Poskas because I never use Poskas in this way really I've always used them as just like really clean shapes and um, you know like that kind of style so I've never really used them like this and I think this is something that I'm gonna do and experiment with in the future because I think that it really lends itself to my style a little bit because we all know that I like a lot of texture and energy and stuff like that in my pictures so I think this these using Posca pens in this way turned out to be a real releva re relevation for me. Relevation? Yeah, relevation. <laughs> and what? Oh, revelation. What did I say? Relevation. What did it? What is the word? Re revelation. And this turned out to be a bit of a relevation. Revelation. Revelation. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? And using Posca pens in this way turned out to be a, a sure different thing for me. <laughs> Just say revelation. Revelation. Using pens in this way seemed to be a real revelation for me and I think that it really worked out quite nicely because I've never used Poskas like this. I think just smudging them together, I've always used clean lines with Poskas and different shapes like that. So I think this turned out pretty cool. It is another Monet and if you guys didn't guess it's a Water Lilies piece, one of his many and I really enjoyed doing this one. I think it's probably the weakest of the bunch but I still felt like I had fun with it. Okay so I think that's my final piece that is the Mo Monet water lilies and yeah I really enjoyed using this 
as a little challenge to create some new artworks from old artworks and I really like them. I like the colour coordination from just using this limited colour palette. Thanks again to Odia for the artful box and I really liked it. I think it's worth the money if you can afford it and do you like art? It might be an enjoyable thing to receive every month. That's it from me. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.